All right, here we go. So, welcome back to my next Seven Days to Die Alpha 19 series. So this series, I'm calling the Blasted Oasis, but it really is zombies, bears, and landmines. Sorry, zombie dogs, bears, and landmines. Oh my. Now this, we're, uh, the reason why I call this Blasted Oasis because we are going to be in the wasteland the whole time. I'm taking a... Uh, um, page at a cap double zeros book or just caps book and gonna try a wasteland series so all of the settings for this are set to default with a couple of minor changes so the zombies are on run or sorry not run jog so they can move a little faster not much but a little bit faster so I gotta be wary of that um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop you for now and this I'll just scrap and move these guys around so the goal will be to try and stay alive as long as possible. I am going to try and play on um, permadeath. So if we die, game's over. All right, I don't know how long we'll last. So the wasteland's covered in landmines, so we've got to be careful of landmines. Um, and it's full of bears and zombie dogs, so we've got to be careful of them. Bears will kill us, zombie dogs will kill us. So, as far as settings go, I've turned the airdrops off. Loot respawn is set to none. So, loot will not respawn. So, we constantly have to be either taking quests from the traders or uh, constantly raiding stuff to get loot, uh, which I think is a good way to play. Um, and, yeah, other than that, that's kind of how we're going to run with this. So, let's go ahead and make... I want to try and burn through these as fast as possible. Now, when this quest tree finishes, we're not going to it's not going to tell us where the trader is because this is a nitrogen map. It's a 6k nitrogen map. Uh, so let's wear this and wear this. Then let's have a look on the map where we are. So we are east and south. So there should be we got to head west. I want to try and head towards the center of the map. We're probably going to get stuck in a town. Now, it'll tell us once we're done here with these quests that there's no trader. So that means it's not going to tell us where the traders are on this map, which is going to be a problem. Um, okay, let's just grab this real quick. That's going to be a huge problem. Now for stone, we just have to hit the ground. Let's grab a few stones here. Um, so... I had a quick look at the map before I started. First, I wanted to make sure it was a map I was going to be happy to play on. Uh, because if it ended up being ridiculous, then there's no way, right? Um, but I know it's a fine map. Um, and the... Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's make seven. Uh, it's, it's an okay map. The civiliz prime civilizations kind of go from southeast to northwest. And that's kind of where the traders are. So we need to be aware of that and just kind of work in that direction. Now I'm going to go into the town here. We're going to find some places to raid. I think I want to try and get off of um, the wilderness as quickly as possible at this point. Um, okay, let's go ahead and craft a campfire. Now I also want to try and get a forge on day one. I know it's going to be hard. So there's the no trader. We've got our four skill points. That's all that matters. I'm not going to spend those just yet because I want to try and get a forge on day one. Um, it's not going to be easy to do. Um, but that's going to be the goal anyway. I want to try and get upgraded club to a baseball bat. And I want to try and get iron arrow tips. Those are the two things I think we need the most. I'm just grabbing the stone here because I don't want to have to mess around later on and try and get stone. Each of these, I think it's like 14 or 15 hits, gives you 50 stone. It's the most economical way to get stone. All right, now the landmines, just so you know, the landmines are um, really gray in color. So it's going to be hard to see them. Now we need 360 iron in order to get our baseball bat, level 2 baseball bat. We need duct tape, we need leather. Leather we can get from dogs, but I, I really don't want to be engaging dogs at this point. We're going to need clay, which means we need to dig down through two levels of stone to get it. Uh, let's try... Oh, man. It's a good thing the zo I just... It, I always play with zombies on Insane now because I find them too easy otherwise. 
but this is the zombies are at normal now so it's going to be a lot easier to kill them it's the dogs and bears you really need to worry about in this and the landmines landmines are a one-shot kill if we can find that book that uh negates landmine damage we're going to be good we're going to be gold all right so first things first we want to get in here now i'm going to break this stuff up to actually I'll, I'll hold off doing that right now let's just repair this because we want to get as much plastic as possible and the reason for that is it's a good way to get money at the traders early in the game like if you can hit up as much plastic as possible then you can get a fair bit of money at the traders now this is not going to be our starting house but we're going to make sure we can get out of here easy if we have to i think there's somebody right through there it looks like get rid of the noise trap yeah somebody right here nope oh it's the chair i saw okay so let's hope this attic yields something good here. There's somebody through those boxes ahead, though. All right. I can't afford to take any damage. Ooh, she almost got a piece of me. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be w way easier to kill. Normally, when I'm playing on Insane, with this club, it takes, like, you know what five six sometimes seven hits to the head with a power attack to kill a zombie two hits I'll take take any day of the week okay, let's grab this oh there's a chair there there's some leather there's a pipe it's one of the things we need the clay I think is probably the easiest thing to get the leather I think might be the hardest although I don't know if we find some stuff in the house here like we can go in the bathroom well, that's nice we can go in the bathroom and easily get pipes off of a sink or, or a uh, toilet. That's okay. We need clay. We can get that outside. Is there somebody back here? I don't think so. I think we're clear up here. We are. Attic cleared. Okay. Got to start moving here. I'm going to take the chrysanthemum from now. Most likely I'll get rid of that. Let's just scrap this. Oh. Uh, we can drop this too. The only thing, the reason why I'm taking it is because we can't actually uh, find any out here. There might be a couple of POIs that have some out front, but we can't find it. And if we want paint or whatever, that's the only way we're getting it. All right, let's get down in here. Kill the noise traps. We have anybody in here? Yep, we got a sleeper right here. Okay, that's beautiful. Gonna take the planter. That can get right in the forge and get melt smelted down. Uh, that goes outside. I know this POI actually fairly well, so we're okay there. Now, I can't remember if there's somebody in the bathroom now. Oh yeah. Wake up. Sleeping on the job, that's what you get. I think there's somebody in here too. Oh no, a gun bag though. Okay, so let's just close this door. I don't think this is the main loot, but this is uh, certainly a good start. Blunderbuss ammo. Let's get us a blunderbuss here. Come on. There you go. Level 2. Oh, and Molotovs. Arrows, a bone knife. Oh, man. You know, there was a time I'd be like, that's it. But now it's like, yeah, man, I, I, really, I really appreciate all the stuff now. Because in this alpha, you get garbage to start with all right let's wear this and we can go ahead and scrap that guy i'm gonna take the cloth i'm gonna try and make as many pocket mods as i can here to start i'm gonna go ahead and scrap these guys because we're not going to use a crossbow it's too slow old sink i don't know if we should get our pipes here first let's just go ahead and scrap this um toilet nothing oh what's in here searching just run run my hands through the bathtub yeah, that's great. It just feels wonderful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this door. Let's grab what's in here now. Ooh, two lockpicks and a seed. So I'll probably create a chest somewhere and drop the stuff we don't absolutely need there. We absolutely need the black dye because you've got to look cool while you're in the wasteland. Okay, go ahead and scrap this. I'm going to take this. 
I know I don't have a wrench, but and I shouldn't be doing anything to this bed until we do, but I don't think we're going to be here very long. Scrap this, take those. So I think between this episode and the next one, I'm going to try and figure out where the trader is. We're going to head off to that trader. I don't think we get, yeah, we just get, okay, we get some iron with that. What's here? Anything? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's a friggin' treasure trove. Look at that. Food. Tuna. Wow. Not a big tuna fan. Okay, there's a massive club. We're, not, we're gonna scrap it. It's just too slow for me. I'm gonna take these bandages. I'm gonna scrap these. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. We're gonna go ahead and modify you with that. And we're gonna go ahead and scrap this. And we're gonna modify our club with this. All right, what's in here? Anything? Pumpkin seeds. Like I said, we're gonna take it for now. We'll put a chest somewhere. Yep, uh, frig, go away. I got stuck. Get down here. Come on, you little prick. All right, well, we need the bones. Let's just get them real fast. We're going to go ahead and drop this stuff. We don't need that. We're going to be getting plenty of that from dogs and bears. I was just about to say, too, I think there's a bird out here. Go ahead and scrap this. Got to get through this house fast now. Okay, what is around here? Uh, I'm not familiar with that POI. Another another house. And then it looks like more houses there. And then I don't know if you can see it, but in the distance looks like a factory or something. Is that the school or what is that? that there's an apartment over there, another apartment over there. Oh yeah, so we're in a half decent sized town here. Okay, let's keep keep moving because we can't afford to waste time here. I better load this. I was just thinking too, I could use the blender bus on the bird. But we can't because it'll draw zombies from every freaking place. Right? We want to try and stay as quiet as possible in here, which means using minimum of stuff. Alright, let's clear the rest of these rooms first. Then we'll clear the upstairs. We'll uh, loot the upstairs. Okay, we've got a sleeper over there. Wake up. All right, there's another chair. Perfect. There's the leather we need. That's going to give us a total of 12 leather. We're going to need one for the um, bat. Actually, I might as well break this up. We're carrying paper and plastic anyway. You're not going to give my arrow back, huh? I'm going to break this up. We need 15 cloth for a pocket. We need one leather, one... Oh, that's perfect. Run speed plus 10%. We'll wear that. We'll wear some jeans we can scrap this and scrap that now we're getting lucky in here what's this Ooh, a purse 28 bucks not gonna sneeze at 28 bucks guys 28 bucks is 28 bucks okay now I know there's guys in here at least one yeah, we got just one. I think we should be able to take them with one hit. Yep. Nice. Okay, more leather. Beautiful. So we're good for leather now, which was actually my primary worry. If I had to hit up dogs, that was going to be a huge problem. Alright. We may actually stay in the attic of this building. Okay, seven iron arrows. So we're going to switch to those right away. Let's open this crack of book thing. See if we can get some good books here. Because we're in the wasteland, we're going to have to minim minimize... Um, Molotovs burn 10% longer. We'll take that. We're going to have to minimize our... Um, skill usage. Keep it primary for weapons to start. Because bears are going to be a nightmare. Okay, what's this? Spear hunter. Steel spears. I um, don't think I'm going to be using spears in this city, er, in the city, in this playthrough. And the shotgun we can get just by taking one point in shotgun, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, compact stacks, we'll use that. Um, going to hold on to the dynamite one. Let's go ahead and scrap this. And the reason why I'm holding on to it is I, I need to have some money for the traders. Um, because I want to try... Oh, crap, it's going to take a while to get that, eh? I want to try and make sure that um, 
we can buy a gun if he's got one. The only way to do that is to make sure we're carrying enough stuff that's going to give us uh, that money. Now, um, sorry about it going dark and light in here, guys. Is the new oh, somebody's awake? It's the new lighting system. There you are. Free hugs. Bring it in for a free hug. There you go. Yay, free hugs. It's the new lighting system. It's going to go light and dark. So we'll just have to deal with that. Power attack. Always power attack. Okay. Paper we definitely need for blunderbuss ammo. So I think other than the glue, we should be good here. Uh, what do we got? We got one pipe. Uh, yeah, I'm still. I'm gonna stay on the stone arrows until they're gone. Then we'll switch to the iron ones. I don't want to waste uh, feathers at this point. Okay, nobody in here. As long as we don't fall through the floor, I'm good. All right, scrap this. We're gonna need iron too. That's the other thing is we're short on iron right now, so we'll have to go outside. We got to get clay anyway. So we'll go outside, pick up the iron. Now I could scrap the planters for clay. Here's the problem with scrapping planters for clay. Um, so when you scrap it, you get six clay, which is, I guess it's okay compared to the, some, some of the other stuff you get, right? So you get six clay from scrapping the planter. And if you don't scrap the planter and you throw it right in the forge, you get 40 clay, which is a huge difference. There's a dog outside. So I always try and not scrap it if I can avoid it. We got a guy over here. Check those corners. If I don't have to scrap it, I won't. And they stack really well too. You can stack up to 10. All right, let's use these. Use that. And I think I'm going to start holding on to the tin cans because normally you, when you're scrapping stuff, Oh, that's good. We got three of those now. Uh, that's exactly what we need. Normally when you're scrapping stuff, um, you get about 60 to 75% of the value for what it's worth. So if you're scrapping a tin can, you'll get you'll get three iron instead of five. Five if you if you melt it in the forge. Jesus Christ, how many of the same books are we gonna get? Come on, give me something good here. Duckbill schematic. We don't need a duckbill. We want to choke. On a shotgun choke. That's what we're looking for. Um, okay, let's go ahead and scrap this. So yeah, so you want to try... Also, if you're scrapping in bulk too, be careful about that. If, you wanna, if you're really looking to maximize the amount of your scrap... So if you... Let's say you have a stack of 10 arrows or 10 crossbow bolts and you scrap them. If you're really looking for the maximum amount of iron, what you should do is scrap them one at a time. Because they're only worth one iron a piece, right? One iron a piece. But if you scrap them as a group, what happens is it just sees, oh well, it's going to be ten iron that you're scrapping, and then it then it says, okay, well if I'm scrapping ten iron, you get seventy percent of that back, so you're only going to get seven out of ten, as opposed to um, if you scrap them all individually, you'll get one for each one if that makes sense. And then you'll get 10 back as opposed to the handful. Man. We're going to get overloaded real fast, which is why I need to drop, leave some stuff behind when we leave here. Okay, we definitely need the jars. As many jars as we can get. We need murky water for glue. Let's go hit up the toilet, because if we can't... Like, I'm, I'm hesitant to go into the garage and stuff. Um, and get more stuff if we don't already have what we need. So if we've got murky water, I'm good with that. Come on. Yeah, we're going to be short. Go ahead and use this. It's in the fridge here. Okay, we don't have a cooking pot either, which means... We don't have a cooking pot, which means we may have to actually try and get the forge first. 
and then make a cooking pot, which means we need glue or duct tape first. Okay, we'll go ahead and use that. There's our cooking pot, so we can make glue now. Got the ability for that. Do we have bones? We got nine. We don't have enough bones. We got to hit up something with bones. No idea what you're banging on. Okay, garagey. Some crates up there. Do we have anybody in here? No, it's all quiet. Well, no, we do. Never mind. Take my words back. Every time I think it's quiet, it never is. Let's get this girl too. See ya. Thanks for playing the game of death. Okay, three more cloth. Get that. Let's close this door. Okay. We're running short on time here. I wonder if I should just go ahead and do that duct tape now. Don't need that. Oh, she broke it. she's broken through the outside fence. Now she's at the house. I don't know how the hell she heard me. Okay, salmon stacks. Got to worry about stackable items now. Ah, shotgun shells. I think she's inside now. At least it sounds like she is. Okay, tech junkie, we can use this one. Robotic weapons do 10% more damage. There's a pipe for us. More shotgun shells, painkillers. Okay, let's start scrapping some stuff. Uh, do I want to keep the torch? No. Okay, let's leave some stuff in this box. You can stay here. You can stay here. You can stay here. Um, I should probably just start scrapping brass as much as I hate to do it. Uh, I think it's time maybe we just switch over to iron. Well, I don't know. Gunpowder. Ah, man. We got money now. Just need the ability to make some fucking glue. Let's get outside. Okay, if we can find some remains on the roads here. Don't see any that way. Got two zombies out back. We got the girl and that guy. How much wood do we have here? 120. We're gonna have to get clay at some point. Thought I heard a dog panting. Good source of bones at this point. Don't see one. Yes, I do. I see two of them. Right over there. I don't know if I can hit them from this distance, though. We should be able to hit them with a bow shot. Oh, one died right there. Just a little short. Just a little short. And the dog disappeared. Of course it did. See if we can get this guy. There you go. Get your ass over here. Oh. Swung a little too early, but that's fine. I can't, I don't know if we have any tired here. Okay, that's 20 bones. I think that's enough for enough glue. Do we have any arrows left? We got one stone arrow left. And you're just gonna fucking go behind there, are you? Thought I saw a snake over there. We got enough food. Don't have to worry about the snake. Now, I think we got enough bones. Let's get the clay. And it might be best to just... I need to make a shovel. Uh, level one stone shovel. Um, let's craft another torch too, just to stack them. Think we can hit that dog? There's two of them over there it looks like. 
Nope. We had to get rid of the arrow anyway. That would have been hilarious if I got that dog. <laughs> Be far less hilarious if you kill me though. Kill me for my trouble. Ah, uh, it's fucking stone down here. Hopefully it's clay after this. No, it's more freaking stone. It's supposed to be ah oh, fuck. There's that dog. Um I don't want to be down in this hole. Don't need you. Let's repair this. Don't know if we can get it through the basement, though. Don't know if we can get it through the basement. Um, I think it's... You know what? I think it's down three because... Um, this level of the uh, building is raised up one. So we're going to try again down here. Just got to make sure we can get out of here. The dog comes a-knocking. We got to make sure we can get a rocking. Okay, we finally hit clay. It's a fair bit down here, but we got some. Now we just need 60. Oh, fuck off. Are you serious? It's just, that's it? There's one thing of clay? And then stone. I don't want to go down in here, but I gotta check this. That's stone. Crap. And of course there's another freaking dog. Let's deal with this guy. Come on, buddy. Bring it in for a free hug. Good thing about a club is it gives you a moment momentary stun on a on a uh, enemy. So against dogs, as long as you know you can finish them off in a couple of shots, that it works great. Alright, we can drop. Ah, uh, man. Where's all the rotten flesh? That can go. That can go. Alright, we got 22. That can go. Gotta get some more clay. Alright, we gotta get out in the open then. And do it. Oh, shit. And there's a fucking bear at the back of the house. Because of course there is. Where else would there be a bear? Uh... God damn it. We're still short on iron, too. I think we can get the iron in the house. Although, I don't know... Ah, oh man. What are we at now for iron? 179. Halfway. We could hit up a second house. We've gone th so far through this one. Let's keep going. Ah, God damn it. We need the clay. Without that, we can't make a forge, and it's just a waste of time. All we need is one pipe now. I got enough to make the glue. Let's just risk it for the biscuit here. We can always run into the garage real quick, and hopefully that'll stop the bear. If it doesn't kill us. Alright, repair this. I'm just trying to think now what I'm going to spend my skill points on. So we're going to put one into... we got four points. We might have five points by tonight. So one into clubs. We need one in... Um, uh, one to get the forge. Um, one probably in uh, sexual tyrannosaurus to give our... Uh, Give us more stamina when we're using the club. And that's enough. Let's grab a little extra just in case. Never hurts to have a little bit more. I think we got enough planters, but... That's the bear I just heard. It's going to pin us in this house tonight. We might be able to make enough blunderbuss ammo? Okay, we checked all these, right? Yeah, this is the stuff we got stuff stored in. Just throw that in there for now. <sighs> I 
we want to get up here and get these boxes so we're going to make some frames we're going to pop up here and as much as i want to grab uh this cobblestone for starting a uh, a base i think it's just a waste at this point that's nice that we can sell all right let's go ahead and um we don't need the shovel right now let's scrap that let's go ahead and make four i think it'll probably be fine now we just need to find a way can we get up no no okay we can get under there let's take this apart yeah we're going to be spending the evening cowering in the attic i'm going to make a uh, like i said i'll make the forge make a baseball bat it's not going to help us against bears obviously but at least we'll have a baseball bat I gotta think about whoop, I gotta think about where to spend my last point too. I mean, we could put it on uh, cardio for better running. Not oh, great. Why did I? Oh man! So this is huge. So we don't need as much iron as I thought we did. Now I think we're I think we're fine for iron. That's like that's that's major. That's awesome. Okay, so we need less iron now. Find out what's in this working stiff. Normally you get crap in these working stiffs tool, tool things earlier. Yeah, see what I mean? We'll take that, and then we'll scrap these guys. Like, <laughs> three level twos, eh? Um, let's modify you. Pull you off. Go ahead and scrap you. And modify... Some people think you're crazy for walking around overloaded like this. Is there anything else up here? Oh yeah, we got another one up there. Um, but the thing is, is that as long as you're not running from anything, what's the problem? <laughs> you know, it's only an issue if you're running from stuff. Right now we're in a house, don't have to worry about it. You know, I got three Molotovs. I might actually expend them on the bear tonight. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Another blunderbuss. Beautiful. Level 2 bow. Okay. See what I mean? Like, that's a little better than... Let's go ahead and scrap this. It'll give us our arrow back. Bring another arrow out. Beautiful. And then the blunderbuss. Bring down to the toolbar. Load you up. Alright, let's go down. Now, the basement, I know, is a little bit of a fight down there. Let's just scrap this. We're not going to do that while we're overloaded. What we're going to do is try and get that last pipe that we need which I think we can get in this bathroom that's a little little baby zombie let's close this for now let's hit up the toilet um, I think we'll get more from the sink we get more stuff from the sink so let's do that okay, there's the sink we got three pipes beautiful we already checked that all right let's move out We got someone coming in the back door here? Sorry, do we have somebody making a back door? All right, let's go into this last room over here. I think what we'll probably do, go into this last room over here, find out if there's anything in here, grab some cloth. We're gonna make our way to the attic, get stuff moving. And then if we've got time, we'll go and do something else. We'll go to the basement. But we're pretty overloaded right now and I wanna avoid engaging any zombies if we can then we'll figure out nice we'll figure out uh what we're going to keep on us is that it that looks like it we're going to figure out what we're going to keep on us when we leave tomorrow um then between episodes i'll probably have a quick look at the map just to get a rough idea where the trader is because i mean it should tell us and wandering around with a full backpack uh, in this game is going to be your nightmare. Um, so we'll probably just figure out where, roughly where the trader is. That'll be the last time I look at the map. Just so I have an idea of where we are, where we're going. Um, and I think what we, we want to do is probably make a base near a trader. Now there should be one in every town or city. So there should be one here somewhere. Because this, this looks like it's a fair-sized town. I'm just grabbing this so I can make storage pockets. 
All right, now, uh, can we make the pockets? No, we can't make the pockets. We don't. We need duct tape for that. Ah, oh, man, which means I need... God, I hate this. That little yellow flashing thing at the top corner always bothers me. I keep thinking there's something I need to be doing when there isn't. Okay, another chair. Free wood, take the free wood. Scrap you. Oh, I didn't check this cabinet. Nice. Um, have I been holding on to these? I have been. I think we found coal upstairs. Or where did we find coal? Let's go ahead and use this. Because we can use the coal for... I wish I knew where there was water. Where did we find it? Was it here? Yeah, there we go. Um, can make some gunpowder here. Can make some more blunderbuss ammo before we leave here. And we can get some coal down here. Are you... What is he doing out there? Reckon this, you're wrecking the stairs or something. Um, more gunpowder. So that's going to give us another four rounds. Let's go ahead and make it now. Get a little bit more out of our inventory. Alright, you have... Good luck with that guy. I mean, if we're... St uh, we don't have much time. If we're stealthy as shit, we might be able to get some stuff down here. Let's just stay quiet. If we can burn through here, I think there's like... If this is the place I think it is. Now we got a guy right here. Down to th four arrows. Alright, now there's some... Back there, I think. Might be somebody here. You know, we could probably stay in the basement if we're uh, careful. Just stay quiet down here. Can you grab? Oh, I hear somebody. Let's go ahead and scrap this. Do we have enough? Oh, we got lots of leather now. Forgot about all the leather we got from those dogs. The main loot, I think, is through there. Okay, nobody over here. Shit, I can't afford to waste arrows. We got three in there, four in there, and I can't fire the blunderbuss. Did that arrow break? It broke. We got two left. Well, let's take out you. Generally, the male zombies have more hit points. And then let's just go ahead and make... Couple of stone arrows. Nice. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Beautiful. Look at all this juicy loot. Now I don't know how we're gonna carry it all. Don't care about the don't care about the wood arrows. Alright, let's open the big one first. Actually, let's open this med kit first. Okay, beautiful. That, I'm not going to spend time to scrap these one at a time, because we don't need to. I didn't take the ammo. Ooh, that's nice. Let's wear this. Let's wear this. We can scrap this. Got more iron arrows. Definitely need that. We can go ahead and scrap this. Take that. See what's in here. Alright. Don't need these. What's in this one? One jar. And shotgun messiah, rifle parts, and shotgun parts, which we don't have enough room to carry stuff. Uh, we've got the iron now, so let's just scrap all these cans straight up. Yep. Alright, I know there's more down here, but it is 2120. Let's get our ass upstairs. And the bear hurt us. Zombies hurt us. How much cloth do we have? 116, that's plenty. Yeah, we're short on duct tape. Not doing any challenges. Let's get upstairs before these guys break in. Start causing me out. There's the bear. 
Caused me all kinds of problems. Now, I don't know if they can find their way up the ladder to get into the attic, but I figure if I stay, up, stay quiet enough up here, break out this bottom step, stay quiet enough, we should be okay. I say should. The bear shouldn't be able to get up here. That's really the only threat. Zombies might be able to make it, but I'm not really worried about the zombies. We're going to stay probably at this end so I can see anything coming in here. Oh, there's more stuff over there. Let's grab this. We're going to put our uh, thing up on there. All right, grab this. Nothing. Except for one plastic. Plastic is great to sell because it's worth three per per one piece. Oh, meat and water. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, she found her way up. That's kind of cool how they can do that. Now, I'm going to put a frame in here, I think. Or a hatch, probably. Hey, lady. Come on. All this way for nothing, huh? Welcome to the jungle. All right, let's go put a hatch down here. Now, actually, I can't. I don't have any room for that. There's nightfall. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just put a couple things in here for now. Actually, we'll probably leave these out just in case. All right, hatch. Uh, wooden hatch. Where are you here? Wood. Hatch. Craft. So hatches are really useful because you can throw them up and the zombies can't get past them. Oops. There we go. Reinforce it a bit. Throw it up. Works just like a blocker or a walkway. We can just reinforce this once. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do this here. Used a bunch of wood, but at least we're safe in here for now. All right, let's get stuff going here. So uh, we need a campfire, craft. This bedroll is going to get thrown down here in case we somehow horribly die. We know where we're coming back. Uh, spending skill points. So our first point needs to go advanced engineering. Then we can craft. Oh, we can't craft a forge yet because we need to make glue. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Where's our campfire? Here we go that up here we've got our cooking pot and we can make we should be able to make why am I only getting one? Oh, because we don't have uh right this on us derp derpity derp we need four for sure that's how much time 54 so just over a minute let's go ahead and where is wood here we go just put it on for a minute to start get that going um, so we have all the other materials we need to make a forge, except for the duct tape. Now I should just read these and get them out of here, but definitely going to the trader is a better option. So let's spend some skill points while that's cooking. Um, so we want to go into Pummel Pete. Want to go into this one. And... We don't need Master Chef just yet. We got two points available though, so let's grab Master Chef now so I don't forget about it, because most likely I will. And I'm wondering if we should take light armor. Reduce movement penalty, light armor movement penalty by 15%, and stamina penalty by 10%. Improve durability by 50%. Unlocks leather armor crafting. I'm gonna go this route, and my reasoning is is that we don't want to have any heavy armor on us at all. Did I not set that to go? What? You didn't see anything. So once we get more murky water, we can make ourselves some padded armor. So if we look at what we're, where we're at right now, right? Um, padded armor doesn't increase noise or mobility issues. It doesn't give you any mobility issues. It gives you a very, very light amount of protection. But because it's not impeding, sorry, impeding our mobility in any way, we don't really have to worry too much about being slowed down other than how much extra we're carrying, which we're going to be paring down before we leave here. So um, having all light armor, at least to start, gives you the ability to move quickly, which is what really you need in the wastelands, right? Like you, you don't want to be like getting your getting your ass kicked out here all right uh recipes this is going to be a long episode three glue three uh duct tape then we're going to go ahead and make the forge 
There it is, get that crafted. So what I'll probably do from this point on, oh, we got five seconds left. Don't like wasting fuel, especially early game when you barely have any wood. That's why I do things like this. Because if I can cook other stuff before I go, I will. Uh, now let's go ahead and make this into duct tape. So we need that for the club. So what I'll do is I'll throw the forge down. Oh, we also gonna need a, oops, uh, this thing. Land claim block, land claim block, so that um, we can pick up our forge before we leave. I'm gonna leave the, uh, I'll probably take the cooking pot, which we can scrap as we go if we need, because I can always make another one now that I have a forge. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll take that with us. Actually, I'll probably just scrap it, but we'll leave the the uh, campfire behind. All right, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. When we come back next time, I should have a level two baseball bat which would be great and a lot more steel arrows since we're out of them completely at this point um, unless we know we picked up some that's right so i'll have a bunch more of these uh, and then we'll be ready to go we're going to move out i'll know where the trader is by then grab all this stuff out of here i'll know where the trader is by then and then uh we'll get off there and um hopefully sell some stuff and be stripped down we can find a place to live at that point all right so I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And hopefully we can find a headlamp too. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, we'll see you later.